at some point, the jury has to reach a verdict. So I would say once the once the evidence is in, once you believe based on the data, science, cosmology, physics, biochemistry, genetics, human consciousness, there is a creator, um, history that Jesus lived, that he claimed to be the son of God, that he was executed, that he was resurrected and encountered reliably afterwards. Once you determine that this points toward the truth of Christianity, John 1, 12 says, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believed in his name. So believing the evidence is not enough. Uh, the, the Bible says even the demons believe and they shudder. Uh, it's believe plus receive equals become. You know, if I had a cup of water here, um, how would I know it's not poison? Well, I wouldn't for sure, um, but you know, it, it, it looks good. It, it doesn't smell unusual in an unusual way. Uh, my wife brought it to me. She has no motive to hurt me. Um, I haven't heard reports of anybody getting sickened by drinking the water lately. So based on this evidence that we kind of informally look at, what do we do? We taste and we see that it's good. Same thing with uh, the Old Testament says taste and see that the Lord is good. We believe based on the evidence, but then we have to take a step of faith in that same direction and receive this free gift of God's grace, free gift of his forgiveness and eternal life that we cannot earn, we do not merit, receive this free gift. Then John 1, 12 says, we become a child of God. So this is not a faith that's just based on a bunch of propositions and, 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 and creeds and evidence and data. Uh, yes, it's grounded in that, but there's a step we have to take to receive God's grace.